One of the most asked questions I get is, how do you cook the perfect steak? Well, first of all, it's about sourcing the perfect steak. And if there's one thing that our Irish farmers do well, is producing some of the very best beef in the world. It's grass fed. So I'll talk you through two different cuts here. We're using the Simply Better Steak. This is from uh, Ballin Robe, Jennings Butchers there. Board be a quality assured. So this is the Irish Angus. So this is the strip line here. Lovely marble in the fat. This is the one that I'm going to cook while I have it marinated. 28 days matured. It's a really lovely cut. One of my favorites <coughs> is this here, the ribeye steak and beautiful beautiful marble of fat and you do need fat for flavor and it keeps it succulent and it keeps it moist now when you're cooking a steak again and um, that's the 28 days matured you bring it to room temperature so take it out of the fridge for about 20 25 minutes what i usually do is put a little bit of rapeseed oil if you just look in here some garlic just don't even peel the garlic just kind of crush it a little bit of fresh thyme bring it to room temperature and leave that for about 20 minutes good hot pan we're going to pop this on in a moment and we're going to cook it until it's nice and pink and i'm going to show you that so room temperature really important season just before it goes onto the pan a little bit of salt and pepper and then don't keep turning it you just get a nice golden color a little bit of butter at the end will give the most beautiful flavor so this is the strip line so remember this here lovely marble and a fat there it's a really gorgeous cut and really really nice on its own with a nice sauce i'm going to show you lovely uh, roasted red pepper butter which I think is a really lovely a compliment here and some vegetables and these really beautiful potatoes so these are the Irish garlic roasting potatoes okay and they're from Bally McKenna Farm in County Loud so the variety of their potatoes with a lovely little dressing with some garlic and rapeseed oil you drizzle that over pop it into the oven 200 degrees and it takes about 40 minutes they're beautiful and they're fantastic producers so that's just been recently launched part of the Simply Better collection they're hand cut uh, growing in Ireland and they're just beautiful potatoes wonderful wonderful uh, producers so it's a great success that so I already have them done in the oven okay good hot pan uh, steak we're going to season a little bit of salt I'm just using some nice sea salt and some black pepper now I want to just take off a little bit of the thyme because that's going to burn so just scrape it off just with the tongs and then lift it up and then just kind of roll it in the egg so this is the seasoned side we're going to put down really nice hot pan that's what you want to hear i'm using my griddle pan and this is part of my uh, cookware collection we've recently launched this it can work on electric on gas on induction you name it on all cooking formats so we will use this oil we'll pour it over this we'll just let that cook for a few moments seal it off good high and um, good high uh, temperature if that's what you want let's talk about our lovely roasted red pepper butter so we're using these peppers and i love these i always have some of these in my kitchen cupboard they're italian they're cooked over open grills and they're usually stored i'll just show you in some extra virgin olive oil so there's lots of flavor in that so don't be throwing that oil out we don't like to waste anything in cabin so these are the peppers here that we're using a little bit of a uh, yellow and red it doesn't matter uh, i'm going to use a little bit of both and that's them there so you can just literally rip them up or you can chop them up but the food processor this little mini chopper is kind of going to do all the work for us so i'm just going to literally pop this in here kind of press that down and then we'll just give it have a little look at the steak okay don't be turning it too soon into this we're going to put a little bit of this harissa spice which is produced it's all organic produced from an irish company called oko and they're based in that loan and you know I've used lots of their spices, their mild curry powder, their cajun, their turmeric. They're just wonderful, so they are. So I'm going to give a little bit of a kick to this butter. So we let the food processor, or the little mini chopper, because I'm only doing a small amount. Normally I do this in the food processor. Oh, I forgot, a little bit of fresh basil. So don't be chopping anything. Let the food processor do all the work. Lid goes on. It's going to be a little bit noisy now, so excuse me. And you let that chop. I'll show you now. Okay, so you can see that lovely bit of texture there. So that's the roasted red peppers. You can actually do this with sun-dried tomatoes. Okay, I'm going to add in the butter now. I just want to go back to the steak. We're going to pour on this beautiful uh, oil. Scrape it down. And then we're going to flip over the steak. Now, we want to cook this until it's nice and pink. And that's really important. You cook the steak the way you like it. So just flip this over. 
gorgeous. I love that kind of caramelization, you know, that you're getting from that little beautiful rapeseed oil and then the butter. So the butter will give the most beautiful flavor. Okay. I'm gonna put in a little bit more butter. Now I'm gonna baste it in a minute. I'm gonna show you what that means. So just with the spoon, scrape all this down. We're gonna get our butter in here and it's really important that we tip to you is try and have the butter at room temperature. So if you take it out kind of, um, kind of like uh, too late, just pop it into the microwave for maybe five, five seconds, 10 seconds. So I'm gonna put in some butter and this butter that we're doing everyone is beautiful with fish, with chicken, uh, really, really nice with pasta and really good in a baked potato. So let's see if we have enough there, okay. Now every so often, just keep an eye on the steak. We've it seasoned up. I haven't turned down the heat. We're just gonna put the lid on this now and then a little bit more noise. So just kind of give it a shake. Just kind of push it down and kind of just let that kind of just blend. You can just see, if you come over here, Mella, you can just see the way it has to all kind of come together. So just remember one thing, the longer you blend it, the smoother you're gonna get this butter. Now, So the garlic, I know it's a wee bit noisy, I'm sorry. So just keep scraping this down here. And then you're gonna mix this all through here. So the longer you blend it, the smoother you're gonna get. Okay. And it will keep, which is great. Now. Okay. So I'm gonna show you the shape. This, we'll take this out. There's a little bit of texture from the peppers. I'm gonna do that in a moment. I just wanna focus on the steak because this is so important. So the steak, everyone, is cooking up beautiful. I'm gonna get a little bit of color just on the kind of fat side of it. This was my dad's favorite cut. And what we're gonna do is cook it nice and pink. So I'm gonna turn it off now. We're gonna press it. And that still has a lovely little sponge. So that's rare if you come nice and close. So that's rare, lovely and soft. Then move up to your next finger, that's medium. Your next finger is medium well, and your last finger is well done. So just flip this one more time. Oh, I meant to show you what basting was. I'll just get the, my griddle pan, and just literally spoon on these lovely juices. So the pan is off now, everyone. You got the flavor from the garlic. If you don't like garlic, that's fine. We don't want to overcook it. Now let's show you how to shape this butter. So using cling film is the easiest way to do this. Uh, by the way, you can put this in a little Kindler jar. It works perfectly. I already have one made in the fridge. Okay. So with the butter, then you're going to shape it. You'll find if you look here closely, Imelda, at the very bottom, it's a little bit smoother. So I don't mind. I could leave it on there for about maybe two or three minutes. It's probably better if that was, if it was me, I would probably do it in a bigger food processor, make twice this recipe and, uh, freeze it down it'll keep for about maybe two three weeks in your fridge and you can freeze it people love things when you think of butter you're thinking of garlic butter which is a classic why not roasted red pepper butter which i think is delicious so cling for them roll it like that shape it roll it roll it roll it and then just going to use a knife here and then we're going to shape this so you twist it either side and that's your little butter done. Uh, label it, and I mean date it, using a, a little um, Sharpie, something like that, would be perfect. Put it in the fridge or you can freeze it. So make double the recipe. I already have one done. And this one's gonna be a little bit lighter in color because I blended it, so I did, I blended it longer. So I'll cut this and I can just show you. So that's it there. You can see the little bit of pepper, a little bit of basil, little hint of that really nice um, harissa, and then you slice it. I find this is the easiest way here. So just take off the cling film. You see the way I slice through the cling film, and that's your little disc. Pop that into a beautiful baked potato, onto a piece of fish. You could use some of the lovely, um, you know, the corn-fed uh, Simply Better chicken, beautiful. A Little bit of buttered pasta, some of this butter on top and vegetables. And uh, for me, life doesn't get any better. This butter is delicious, okay. So keep that in your fridge. Um, you can put it now that you've cut it into an airtight container. So we're gonna serve this up. Bring over my plate. 
So this is our steak here. I want to cook it until it's nice and pink. A couple of nice little discs, two or three. Maybe two is enough, I was a little bit generous there. And that's gonna melt, there's no sauce with this. A little bit of broccoli, which we have here. So what I've done with the broccoli, everyone, we'll just put it into a little pot of boiling water, or you can steam it for about maybe uh, two minutes, and then put it into cold water, so that's what you call refreshing. And then just heated it with a little bit of butter, more butter again, I know, and a tiny little bit of water. Just simple. Now, our potatoes. So these are the potatoes again, the Simply Better potatoes from Bally McKenna Farm, and they're based in County Loud. Wonderful uh, Irish producers, and I'm just gonna literally take them out of the oven. So I had these in for about 40 minutes, and just look at the lovely colour. I'll just move this out of the way here. Now, so make sure that they're cooked through and just with the point of the knife that they should be done without going too mushy. These are brilliant. This has been a fantastic kind of like um, collaboration of a great Irish grower, simply better. You know, it's a win-win for everyone. And their potatoes are just delicious. So they are hot. These are their own unique variety of potatoes. It's very hot, but I'm just gonna get a little bit of that oil and the garlic there, and how nice is that to look? And as that melts, everyone, you're gonna get that beautiful butter. If you leave that for about five minutes there, that butter will melt and ooze all over the steak. I try this butter. So there's a couple of lovely recipes in this, cooking the steak, doing those lovely little uh, potatoes, making that butter, and that will keep in your fridge, you know, for about, I'd say easily two to three weeks, no problem at all. Really good in a baked potato, pasta, even with some grilled fish, some grilled vegetables, it really is delicious. And then you have your beautiful steak uh, from Ballin Robe, Jennings Butchers. So that's a really lovely recipe. Uh, you have your potatoes, you have your meat and your veg and your potatoes. Sure, there's nothing nicer, and it's one thing that we do really well is produce wonderful delicious steak so bring it to room temperature a little bit of oil uh, rapeseed oil i'm using some garlic a little bit of thyme and then cook it i know it's a little bit smoky in here but trust me this flavor of the steak the consistency it's tender it's delicious melt in the mouth and cook it the way you like it just one more time that is rare so lovely and soft the next finger is medium and then your next finger is medium well and your last finger is well done so Cook it nice and pink and you'll enjoy it, trust me, and enjoy this lovely, delicious recipe that showcases the very best of Irish food.